In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these baby overalls or dungarees. They're super easy to knit, so I hope you like them. Now, the one we're going to make in the tutorial is for zero to three months, but you can easily make them smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to two to three years old. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now to make these little overalls, this is the yarn that I used. This is a medium number four yarn. You can also use 10 ply or Aran weight yarn. You're going to need about 154 grams of yarn to make these little overalls in the same size that I did. Now keep in mind that depending on the size that you're making, you may need less or more. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. To begin, I'll be using these 3.5 millimeter circular kneading needles. These are 32 inch long. And today I'm using this Aran weight yarn. You can also use any number four or 10 ply. Now at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn I'm going to need for the size that I'm making. So here to begin, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. We're going to cast on a total of 74 stitches. I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. So to do this, I like to wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we have enough yarn for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up. We have enough for 40. Double it up again. We have enough for about 60 and double it up again. We have enough for about 80 stitches. Now I like to add a little bit more because I don't want to come back and do this again. So here we can make a slip knot, pass both needles through this knot here. Now this is the yarn that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein. Now we're going to open up the yarn like this and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this. That's two, three, four, five, six and so on until you have 74 stitches. Continue, finish this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished casting on my stitches. I have 74. Now this is all the yarn that I had left. So here at the end, I like to tie a knot here. There, now carefully remove one of the needles here. And here we're going to start with the first row. Now in this row, what we're going to do is just knit across. So beginning with the first stitch, we knit the first stitch and knit across. Now we're going to do this for about three rows. So when you finish the first row for the second row, you're going to turn and then knit across as well. And at the end of each row, you're going to have 74 stitches. So continue make these three rows where you just knit across. Here we're going to continue with the garter stitch. The garter stitch, you knit every stitch for every row, no matter what side you're on. So continue, make these three rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these three rows of garter stitch. Now, before we continue with the fourth row, I want you to place some stitch markers. This is how I placed mine. I have five stitches here. These five stitches here represent the button band. So place a stitch marker, then count five stitches, place a stitch marker, one stitch, place a stitch marker. Now this is going to be our raglan increase. So we're going to increase before the stitch marker and after the stitch marker when you're on the right side. Then you're going to count 20 stitches, place a stitch marker, one stitch, place a stitch marker. This is our second raglan increase. And then for the back side, I have 10 stitches, 
place a stitch marker, one stitch, place a stitch marker. This is our third raglan increase, and then I have 20 stitches for the second sleeve. Place a stitch marker, one stitch, place a stitch marker. This is our fourth raglan increase. And then I have five stitches here for the front panel, place a stitch marker, and then these last five stitches here are for the uh, second button band. Now, before we continue here, I'm also going to place a stitch marker here. This is going to mark the front of the little outfit and this here from now on is going to be the back side so the front back side uh, whenever you see the stitch marker we're going to increase so here to begin in this fourth row I'm also going to be adding the first buttonhole so I'm going to add my buttonhole here on this side this is going to be a unisex little outfit for boy or girl so I'm just going to make my buttons hole here on this side so here I am going to knit two stitches then I'm going to yarn over and then knit two together Here's the first button hole. Now I have the fifth stitch, which is the stitch before the stitch marker, and it's the fifth stitch here for the button band. This stitch here, I am always going to slip purl-wise when I'm on the right side. When we're on the wrong side, I am going to purl. So make sure that you always slip this fifth stitch past your stitch marker. And now I'm going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five. So here to make the first raglan increase, we're going to lift up this bar and I'm going to make one right. So put this bar right on top of the knitting needle and knit through the front. So this here is a make one right. Now pass your stitch marker. The stitch in between the stitch markers, which is this here, I'm always going to slip purl wise on the right side. When I'm on the wrong side, I am going to purl just like the stitch here for the button bands. Now pass your stitch marker and here I'm going to make my second increase. So lift up this bar and make one left. So put it over the stitch like this and knit through the back. there. Here we have increased two stitches. The first one was a make one right, then we slipped the center stitch purlwise, and then make one left here at the end. Now I'm going to continue and knit these 20 stitches. That's one, Twenty. Now we have the two stitch markers. We're going to make one right. So lift up this bar and put it over the needle and make one right. So knit through the front. Pass your stitch marker. Slip the center stitch purlwise. Pass your stitch marker and make one left. So lift up this bar and put it over the needle and knit through the back. Now continue and knit the next 10 stitches. That's one. Ten. We have the next two stitch markers. We're going to make one right, lift up this bar that's between these two stitches, put it over the needle like this and knit through the front. Let's make one right. Pass your stitch marker. Slip the center stitch purlwise. Pass your stitch marker and make one left. Lift up this stitch, put it on top of the needle and knit through the back. Now continue and knit the next 20 stitches. That's one. Twenty. We have the last raglan increase here, so 
lift up this bar, put it on top of the left needle, and knit through the front. So make one right, pass your stitch marker, slip the center stitch purlwise, pass your stitch marker, and make one left, knit through the back. Now knit the next five stitches, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Pass your stitch marker. So here we have the next five stitches. This is the other button band. This next stitch here, I am always going to slip purlwise as well, knit four. And here is the fourth row with a total of 82 stitches and our first buttonhole. From here on, whenever you're on the right side, we're always going to increase eight stitches. Now for the fifth row, turn. Now for the fifth row, we're going to knit four and purl the fifth stitch. Pass your stitch marker. Now we're going to knit these next six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pass your stitch marker. The center stitch, when you're on the wrong side, we're going to purl. Pass your stitch marker and then knit the next set of stitches until you come to the next two stitch markers. The important thing here for this row when you're on the wrong side is to purl the center stitches, so the stitch that's between the stitch markers and the stitch that's before the stitch marker on this side and after the stitch marker when you're on this side, so this stitch here. So continue, finish this fifth row. At the end of this fifth row, you're also going to have 82 stitches. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. Now here at the end, I have the last five stitches. Now this stitch here, I purled, knit one, and here is the yarn over. The yarn overs, we're going to knit through the back. I don't want a big hole here. I just want a hole big enough for buttons to fit through that are 12 or even 13 millimeter size. So now we're going to finish and knit these last two stitches. And here's row five with 82 stitches. Now we're going to turn. Now for row six, we're going to increase. We only increase when we're on the right side. When you're on the wrong side, we do not increase. Remember that. Now to begin the sixth row, we're going to knit four. And you're going to slip the next stitch purlwise. Now pass your stitch marker, knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now for your raglan increases on this sixth row, this is how you're going to work them. You're going to make one right, so pick up this bar, Put it over the needle and knit through the front. Pass your stitch marker. The center stitch you're going to slip purlwise. Pass your stitch marker and make one left. Pick up this bar, put it over the needle and knit through the back. And now you're just going to continue and knit the next set of stitches until you come to the next stitch markers. Twenty one and twenty two. Now we have the next set of stitch markers. Lift up this stitch that's between the two stitches here. Put it on your needle. Knit through the front, so make one right, pass your stitch marker, slip this center stitch purlwise, pass your stitch marker, and make one left. 
knit through the back. And now continue on and knit the next set of stitches and then repeat the same thing for each one of these two remaining raglan increases. Now at the end of this row, again, you're going to increase eight stitches, two, four, six, eight. And at the end of this row, you're going to have 90 stitches. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I have the last five stitches. Remember to always slip purl wise the stitch after the stitch marker and then knit four. And here's the sixth row with a total of 90 stitches at the end of this row. We have increased eight stitches, two, four, six, eight. Now turn for the seventh row. This here is the wrong side. Now we're going to knit four. And the stitch before the stitch marker, which is the fifth stitch here for the button band, purl. Now pass your stitch marker, knit one, seven, pass your stitch marker, purl the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, and then knit the next section of stitches, and then repeat the same thing for the stitch that's in the center here of the stitch markers. Continue, finish this seventh row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the seventh row. Now these last five stitches, remember, you purl this stitch here before the stitch marker and then knit four. Now turn for the eighth row. In this eighth row, we're going to increase. Now from here on, we're just going to continue and repeat these two rows. We're going to make the row of increases whenever you're on the right side and whenever you're on the back side. The important thing is that you purl the stitches that are in between the stitch markers and the stitches here for the button bands. Now for the eighth row, I'm going to start you off here and then you're going to continue on your own. You're going to knit four. The stitch here that's before the stitch marker, you're going to slip purl wise past your stitch marker, knit this next set of stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the two stitch markers here. We're going to make our raglan increase, so make one right. So lift up this bar that's between these two stitches, put it over the needle here, the left needle, and you knit through the front. Now pass your stitch marker, slip the center stitch purlwise, pass your stitch marker, and then make one left. So pick up this bar, put it over the left needle, and knit through the back. There. Now knit the next set of stitches. That's two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now we have the next set of stitch markers here we're going to make one left before you pass your stitch marker so lift up this bar put it on your left needle and knit through the front there pass your stitch marker slip the center stitch purl wise pass your stitch marker and make one left so pick up this bar put it over the left needle and knit through the back now continue and knit the next set of stitches until you come to the next two stitch markers where you're going to repeat the same thing. Make one right, slip the center stitch purlwise, pass your stitch marker, and make one left. And then do the same thing here for the last two stitch markers, and then continue on and finish the eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, you're going to have a total of 98 stitches. And then for the ninth row, you're going to turn, and then you're going to knit four, 
purl one, knit the stitches in between the stitch markers, and then the stitch here between the two stitch markers, you always purl. At the end of that row, you're also going to have 98 stitches. This is how you're going to continue from here on. You're going to continue up to row 17. At the end of the 17th row, you're going to have 130 stitches. So continue. I will meet you at the end of the 17th row. I finished making the yoke. I did a total of 17 rows. At the end of the 17th row, I have a total of 130 stitches. Now, if you notice, I have changed yarn color. This is the yarn that I'm using. It's a medium number four yarn here. The yarn that I started this with, I was not going to have enough yarn to complete the whole set, so I decided to change yarn color here. So it's the same weight yarn. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to separate here. I'm going to separate the sleeves. I'm going to cast off 34 stitches for each one of the sleeves and then what we're going to do here is we're going to be left with the stitches only for the front panels and the back side. And as I make this next row, row 18, I'm also going to go ahead and make a couple of increases. One stitch here for the front panel, two stitches here for the back side, and one stitch here uh, for the second front panel. So let's get started here with the 18th row. I'm going to also add a buttonhole here at the beginning of the 18th row, and this is going to be the second buttonhole. So we're going to be adding buttonholes every 14th row. So to make the second buttonhole, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to knit two, I'm going to yarn over, and then I'm going to knit two together. Now this fifth stitch, slip purlwise, Pass your stitch marker and now I am going to knit up to the stitch marker so I'm going to knit one two twelve including these five I have 13 14 15 16 17 stitches here now I'm going to make an increase here, so I'm going to make one right, so lift up this bar. This part here is the same. And knit through the front. Now remove this stitch marker, we don't need it anymore, and I'm going to knit the center stitch here. I'm not going to continue because this is going to be the end of this part here, which is going to continue with the body after we finish this row. Now here you should have 19 stitches. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Perfect. Now we're going to remove this next stitch marker. Here I have the next 34 stitches. So from here up to here there's 34 stitches. So here what we're going to do is we're going to cast off these 34 stitches. So I'm going to knit the first stitch, knit the next. Now bring this stitch that I knit first over the second stitch. I've cast off one stitch, so that's one. Knit the next stitch, bring the stitch over. I've cast off two stitches, and that's how I'm going to continue until I've cast off 34. So that's three. Thirty-three. Knit the center stitch, that's 34. I've cast off 34 stitches here for the first sleeve. Oops. And now we're going to 
continue with the back side. Now here for the back side, I am going to make one left. I'm going to make an increase here. Remember I mentioned I was going to make an increase at the beginning here of the back side and at the end because I'm increasing the front panel. So I want to make sure I end with the same number of stitches for the front when you add them up um, along with the back side. So this stitch here, I'm going to make one left. So there, with this increase, now I have to remove that stitch marker and continue and knit the stitches for the back side. So that's three, four, Twenty six, and here before the stitch marker, I'm going to make one right. So here's my increase. And that's twenty seven. Remove that stitch marker, and knit the center stitch. So that's twenty eight stitches here for the back side. Let's count again: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight. Perfect. Now we're going to cast off the next 34 stitches. So remove this stitch marker and knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch. Now bring the first stitch that you knit, that, that is part here of the sleeve, and bring it over the first stitch. Now repeat the same thing, knit the next stitch and bring this over. So here I have cast off two stitches, so that's two, three, Thirty-three. Remove that stitch marker. Knit the center stitch. And thirty-four. So I have cast off thirty-four stitches. Now for the second front panel, I'm going to make one left. So lift this bar and knit through the back. That's two. Remove that stitch marker. Three. Fourteen, pass your stitch marker, slip the next stitch purlwise, and knit the last four stitches. And here is the eighteenth row. And this is how it looks. In this row, we have separated the sleeves here for the overalls, and each one of the front panels has. 19 and 19 stitches for the back side here i have 28 stitches so at the end of this 18th row you should have 66 stitches and we have added here at the beginning the second buttonhole now we're going to continue with the 19th row here and this is what we're going to do here in the 19th row we're going to add some stitches under the sleeves so let me show you here I'm going to knit these four stitches 
and I'm going to purl the next stitch. Now make sure to always do this when you're on the wrong side because I'm going to keep this row of stitches like this here to separate the uh, button band with the body. So now pass your stitch marker and here I'm going to knit the remaining stitches. So that's six, seven, Nineteen. I have 19 stitches for this front panel. Now before we continue here, I'm going to add, let's see, 10 stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now continue along and knit the stitches for the back side. We have added 10 stitches under this first sleeve. So now continue and knit. That's one, two, Twenty-eight, perfect. Now we have the second sleeve here. Before we continue, we need to add ten stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to continue and knit the remaining stitches for this second front panel. That's one, two, fourteen, pass your stitch marker. Curl the next stitch. So that's 15, 16. Here's the buttonhole, knit through the back. That's 17, 18, and 19. And here is the 19th row. We have added 10 extra stitches under each sleeve. So at the end of this 19th row, you should now have 86 stitches. Now for the 20th row, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to knit across. So we're going to knit four here, slip the next stitch purl wise past your stitch marker, and then just knit across like this. Now the stitches that we added under the sleeves here, all you do is just knit these 10 stitches and then continue for the back side, knit the next 10 stitches under the sleeve and then finish here. Don't forget to slip this stitch right here. I will meet you at the end of this 20th row. In this row we're going to end with 86 stitches as well. I'm here at the end of the 20th row. This is where I knit across. I have 86 stitches now for row 21. This is the wrong side. So here, when you're on the wrong side, you're going to knit these four stitches here and then always purl the fifth stitch. And you're going to do the same thing for this stitch after the stitch marker here um, at the end of the row. And the stitches in between, you're just going to knit across. So continue, finish this row. At the end of this 21st row, you're going to have 86 stitches as well. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished row 21. In that row, we knit across. The only two stitches that we purled are the stitches here for each one of the front panels. Remember that when you're on the wrong side, you purl these stitches. When you're on the right side, you slip them purl-wise. 
for row 22, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to increase five stitches under the sleeves on both sides. So I'm going to knit two, then make one right, knit two, make one right, knit two, make one right, knit two, make one right, and then knit two, make one right. So that here I have an extra five stitches. And once this is done, I'm going to have 15 stitches here under the sleeve or in total 96 stitches. So to do row 22, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to knit four, slip the next stitch purlwise, pass your stitch marker, and then knit these stitches until I come to the stitch marker. In total, I'm going to have 19. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eighteen, nineteen. I have 19 stitches for this front panel. I have the stitch marker here for the 10 stitches under the sleeve. So I'm going to knit two and then make one right. So lift up this stitch here, put it over the needle and knit through the front. And that's the first increase. Now knit two again and make one right. That's two, knit two again, make one right. That's my third increase, knit two again, make one right. That's four increases and knit the last two and make one right. So now here we should have 15 stitches. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, perfect. Now pass the stitch marker. Well, actually we don't need it anymore. We can remove it because I know this part here is right. Now you just need to knit across the back side here. For the back side, we have 28 stitches. There, I have the stitch marker, pass the stitch marker here. After this row, you can remove it. I just want to mark these 10 stitches here so that I can show you what I'm going to do. So we are going to knit two, then make one right. That's the first increase. Knit two again, make one right again. That's two, knit two again, make one right. That's my third increase, knit two, and make one right again. That's four, knit two, and here at the end, make your last increase, so make one right. So that's five. Here again, you should have 15. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Remove your stitch markers and continue to the end of row 22. At the end of this row, you're going to have 96 stitches now. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished row 22. At the end of this row, I have 96 stitches. I'm going to remove these stitch markers because I don't need them anymore. We're not going to increase or anything. We're just going to now continue with these 96 stitches for the rest of these little overalls. So now for row 23, turn. And here you're just going to knit across. The only two stitches that you are going to purl are the stitches right here for the uh, button panel. You're going to purl this fifth stitch here on this side, pass your stitch marker and knit across until you come to the next stitch marker where you're going to purl this stitch here after the stitch marker and then knit the last four stitches. At the end of this row, you're also going to have 96 stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this 23rd row. I finished row 23. This is the wrong side. Now we're going to turn here for row 24. 
this here is the right side from here on all we're going to do is just knit across the only two stitches that you're going to be careful with are the stitches here along the front panels remember that when you're on the right side you're going to slip the stitches and when you're on the wrong side you're going to purl them so for row 24 and up to I want to say row 90 you're just going to repeat the same thing we're not going to increase or anything we're just going to knit across and we're always going to have 96 stitches and here's the stitch I'm going to slip purl wise since I'm on the right side past the stitch marker and then just knit across up to the last five stitches I'm going to slip this stitch knit the last four then I'm going to turn knit four purl one and then knit across and then repeat the same thing here at the end for the second front panel like I said I'm going to do this for about I don't know up to row 90 or so if it's more or less continue watching I will let you know what row I'm going to stop here this is going to be the body of the little overalls so all I'm going to do is just continue now don't forget to make your buttonholes buttonholes are going to be made every 14 rows so the first one we did was on row 4 then row 18 so the next one is going to be on row 32 the next one on row 46, then row 60, then row 74, and then the last one is going to be around row 88. So I'm going to make at least seven buttonholes here. Continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue on up to row 88 or so, or until you make your seventh buttonhole. I will meet you around there to show you what we need to do next. And remember, at the end of each row from here on, you're always going to have 96 stitches. We're not going to increase or anything. Thing, you're just going to knit keep in mind these stitches here when you're on the right side and when you're on the wrong side you purl I will meet you at the end of that row I'm almost done with the body I added a total of seven buttonholes and the buttonholes were added on rows 4 18 32 46 60 74 and 88 after row 88 I did a total of five more rows two four five which gives us a total of 93 rows and at the end of each row, I had a total of 96 stitches. So now what we're going to do, we're going to knit across up to the last seven stitches. Here at the end, I'm going to make a decrease and then we're going to join the panels together like this. So now for row 94, this is what we're going to do. All you're going to do is knit across. So knit these four stitches. slip the next stitch pass your stitch marker and then just knit across up to the last seven stitches i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this row i'm here at the end of row 94 now i knit 89 stitches i have the last seven stitches here so here what i'm going to do is into these last two stitches before the five stitches here of the front panel I'm going to knit two together I need to decrease one stitch here because I need to make sure I have even number of stitches so that I can easily divide here the legs at, in the next couple rows so there I've decreased one stitch now I have the next five stitches so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these double pointed needles and I'm going to remove these stitches so that we can join the front panels there now before we continue place the stitch marker this is going to mark the beginning of the row from here on now this will complete row 94 and at the end of this row you should have a total of 90 stitches so now for row 95 we're going to begin by joining both front panels making sure that the front panel where we have the button holes sits on top so here we're going to begin row 95 by purling two together because in order to continue with the garter stitch, you have to alternate between a knit row and a purl row. And then again, purl two together, the next two, purl two together, purl two together, and purl the last two stitches there so now the front panels are joined we don't need the stitch marker anymore and that's how it looks so 
Now I'm going to continue on and purl across like this all around. And definitely you will need longer knitting needles if you have like 16 inch, which are shorter, then you can knit this in the round, but I'm, I'm using circular needles, so I'm going to be using the magic loop technique from here on to knit this part. So continue, I will meet you right here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of row 95. I have a total of 90 stitches. In this row, we joined the front panels and we purled across. Now for row 96, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to start the gusset or the um, crutch area and it's going to look like this. This is what we're trying to do, a little triangle here, right in the middle of the crutch here. So to do this, this is what we're going to do. We have a total of 90 stitches so we're going to divide 90 by 2 that's 45 so we're going to have 44 stitches for each one of the legs right here so 44 on this side and 44 on this side and right in the center you're going to mark this stitch here so you're going to count one two place a stitch marker then here's the center stitch place a stitch marker count 44 and then you're going to repeat the same thing place a stitch marker then one stitch place a stitch marker and then we have 44 stitches for the other leg so to do this here this is how we're going to do we're going to do this for a couple rows here is the beginning of the row. Now for row 96, this is what we're going to do. The last row I purled, so this next row I need to knit. So I'm going to knit two. Then I'm going to make one right before the stitch marker. So lift up this little bar, put it over the needle and knit through the front. Pass your stitch marker knit the center stitch and pass your stitch marker and make one left so lift up this bar put it over the needle and knit through the back this part here is exactly how we did the raglan increases when we were doing this part here so now we're going to continue and knit across that's two three Forty three, forty four. There. Now before the stitch marker, we're going to make one right, so lift up this bar, put it over the needle, and knit through the front. Make one right, pass your stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, and make one left. There, and now we're just going to continue and knit the remaining 44 stitches until we finish so continue finish this row i will meet you right here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of row 96 in this row we started the gusset i have a total of 94 stitches each time that we did this section here we increased two stitches so that's two here for the front and two for the back so that's a total of 94 stitches now for row 97, all we're going to do is just purl across. We're not going to increase in this row. We're just going to purl across like this. Pass your stitch marker, the center stitch, purl, pass your stitch marker and purl. So you're just going to purl across and we're going to have 94 stitches at the end of this row as well. So continue. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished row 97. In this row, we purled across. I have a total of 94 stitches. We did not increase in this row. Now we're going to fix something here. Um, I want to keep track of the stitches here in the center. So I am going to take this stitch marker and go back one because I want to see these increases here. So here you should have three stitches. So remove the other and go over the next. So there, 
we have three stitches here but we started with one we increased at the beginning and at the end so there's three stitches so now we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. We're always going to have these 44 stitches for the leg. So remove this stitch marker here and place it here. Now this is just so that we know the stitches here in the center of the gusset. So now remove the next and go over one. So there's three stitches between the stitch markers, and then here we should have 44 stitches for the second leg. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. There, the other two are right here. So now for row 98, we're going to increase. So we're going to be increasing every other row. So now we're going to knit two. So one and two. Now pass your stitch marker. In the first row, I didn't pass the stitch marker. I did it before the stitch marker and after the stitch marker. So here we're going to pass the stitch marker, make one right, so lift up that bar and knit through the front. Now knit these three stitches, that's two and three. Don't pass your stitch marker, make your increase first. So make one left. There, pass your stitch marker. And now you can clearly see the stitches here in between the stitch markers. Now we're going to continue and knit to the next 44 stitches. One, two, three. Forty-three, forty-four. Now the correct way of doing this was pass the stitch marker and now make one right. So put this bar over and knit through the front. Knit three. Make one left before you pass the stitch marker knit through the back, pass your stitch marker. So now here in the center you should have five stitches because we've increased two here and two in the front. So that's two, four, five. Now continue on and knit the remaining 44 stitches. So continue at the end of this row you're going to have a total of 98 stitches because we're increasing two stitches in the front and two stitches in the back of the gussets. I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of row 98. In this row we have increased four more stitches, two for the front gusset and two for the back. So that's a total of 98 stitches at the end of row 98. And in between the stitch markers, you should have five stitches. Now for row 99, you're going to just purl across, no increases or anything. You're just going to purl across for this row. So here to begin, you're just going to purl these two stitches. Pass your stitch marker and purl these stitches. So continue like this for row 99 where you just purl across. I will meet you at the end. I finished row 99. In this row we purled across. I have a total of 98 stitches. So now for row 100 in this row we're going to increase. So to begin here, 
here we're going to knit two, pass the stitch marker, and then make one right, lift up this bar between these two stitches, and make one right. Now knit two, four, five stitches, two, three, four, five, and before you pass the stitch marker, make one left, pass the stitch marker, and knit 44, and then you're going to repeat the same thing here where we have the stitch markers. Make one right, make one left, and then finish the remaining 42 stitches here for this side. I will meet you at the end of row 100 to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of row 100. In this row, we have increased two stitches for the front gusset and two for the back. I have a total of 102 stitches at the end of this row. Now, for row 101, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to begin by purling these two stitches and then passing the stitch marker and then just purl across. In this row we're not going to increase, we're just going to purl across. At the end of this row I'm going to have 102 stitches as well. Now continue like this to the end of this row, I'll meet you at the end. I finished row 101. In this row, we purled across. I have a total of 102 stitches. Now we're going to make one more row here of increases and one more row of purl so that here in the center, I'm left with nine stitches. Now for row 102, I'm going to knit these two stitches. I'm going to pass the stitch marker and I am going to make one right Now knit the next seven stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make one left before you pass the stitch marker. And now here between the stitch markers, there should be nine stitches. Two, four, six, eight, nine, perfect. Pass the stitch marker and then continue and knit the next 44 stitches. And then once you come to the next stitch markers, you're going to repeat the same thing. Make one right, make one left at the end. Pass your stitch marker and then continue and finish the last 44 stitches. I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of row 102. In this row we have increased. I have a total of 106 stitches. In this row we increased here for the gusset in the front and in the back. So between each one of the stitch markers here in the front and the back you should have 9 stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Now for row 103, in this row we're going to just purl across. We're not going to increase. All we're going to do is just purl across. And at the end of this row we're also going to have 106 stitches. Now continue, finish this row, I will meet you at the end. I finished row 103, in this row I purled across. I have a total of 106 stitches at the end of this row. Now for row 104, this is what we're going to do. We are going to knit in this row, so I'm going to knit two, and then I'm going to pass the stitch marker, and I'm going to cast off these nine stitches. So to do this, I'm going to knit this first stitch, knit the next. Now bring this stitch, the first stitch, over the second. And that way we cast off the first stitch here. Now repeat the same thing, knit the next stitch, and then bring this stitch over, that's two, knit the next stitch, bring this stitch over, that's three, knit the next stitch, bring this stitch over, that's four, knit the next stitch, bring this stitch over, that's five, knit the next, bring this stitch over, that's six, knit the next, bring this stitch over, that's seven, knit the next stitch, bring this stitch over, that's eight. I still have one more. Now remove this stitch marker, knit one, and then bring this stitch over. 
and this here completes nine stitches so I have the first stitch out of the 44 here so that's two three four Forty-three, forty-four. I have these 44 stitches for the leg. Now I'm going to cast off the next nine stitches as well. So pass a stitch marker here, knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch out of these nine, and then bring the first stitch over. Knit the next. So I've cast off one stitch. Bring the stitch over. That's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I still need to cast off this stitch here. knit the next stitch and bring this stitch over so nine i've cast off nine stitches now i have one stitch here on my needles this is part of the second leg so what i'm going to do next is just knit across these remaining stitches so that's one two three Forty one and forty two. Now, these last two stitches that I have left here, I know that we knit them at the beginning of the row, but I need to do something here. I'm going to change where the beginning of the row starts for the first leg that we're going to start here. So, I'm going to knit these two stitches as well. So that from here on the beginning of the row for the legs, is here right in the middle right right here so what i'm going to do before i start on this leg here is i'm going to remove these 44 stitches for the second leg because i'm going to work this leg here first so facing me this here would be the right side so let's see we're going to remove these 44 stitches so i'm just going to use this little tube here it's so much easier there and now I have my 44 stitches for this leg which is what we're going to do next and then after we finish we're going to come back and do the second leg now to close this gap here what I'm going to do is when I make the second leg I'm going to leave some yarn so that once the second leg is done we're going to come back and close this part here I'll show you that once we get to that point but for now we're going to continue here with the first leg and we're going to continue with the magic loop technique you can continue by making rows but you're going to be left with a big opening and you're going to have to seam the legs after that I don't want to bother with that so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to continue with the magic loop technique so just pull your cable pull the needle from the back so this next row this is going to be row one of the leg we're going to pull the needle and in this row I need to purl so I'm going to purl across from here on this is going to be the beginning of the row so I'm going to put a stitch marker here I want the beginning of the row to be right here right in the center that's why I went ahead and also uh, knit these two stitches here so to begin here with the first row 
this is what we're going to do. We're going to purl across like this. So we're going to be alternating between a knit row and a purl row. Make sure you keep track. That way this part here looks nice. And I'm going to do this for about 13 rows. Then on row 14, which is going to be a purl row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of each row, so two stitches. So I'm going to show you that once we get to the point. Turn here and purl. Now continue until you finish this row. Again, this is the first row, and in this row we are purling. Now for row two, you're going to knit. For row three, you're going to purl and so on until you have a total of 13 rows. I will meet you once we have completed these 13 rows so that I can show you how we're going to decrease to start shaping the legs once we start row 14. Okay, I did a total of 13 rows here, so in the next row, we're going to decrease. Now, make sure that you count your rows from the back side because I started the first row here on the back side, which was a purl row. So from here on, you're going to knit 13 rows, and then on row 14, you're going to decrease at the beginning and at the end. So to make your decreases, this is how you're going to do the row. You're going to knit the first stitch, then you're going to knit two together and then you're going to knit across to the last three stitches drop that needle turn push the cable Pull the needle from the back and continue this side. The last row that I finished, row 13, was a purl row. There, I have the last three stitches. You're going to knit two together. And then knit the last stitch. So at the end of this 14th row, I have a total of 42 stitches because we have decreased two stitches, one at the beginning and one at the end. And now we're going to turn. I'm going to place a stitch marker here to mark this row. That way I can count from here on my rows until I have 13 rows again. So now again, I'm going to make 13 rows. So this next row is going to be a purl row. And then once I have 13 rows in the next row, I'm going to repeat the same thing I just showed you here for your decrease. So continue like this. I'm not sure how many uh, decreases I'm going to do here for the rest of the leg, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do or actually how many decreases I'm going to do. So continue watching so that you have that information and then continue on with the leg. So I will meet you at the end of that row. And remember, all we're doing here is repeating these two rows, knit one row, purl the next, and so on, until you have 13 rows, and then on row 14, you do the decreasing. 
I'm almost done with the first leg. I have done a total of three decreases. The decreases were done on row 14, row 28, and row 42. At the end of row 42, I had 38 stitches. And then after that, I did a total of nine more rows. So that in total, I have 51 rows here for the first leg. And at the end of this row, I have 38 stitches. Now, what we're going to do is the bottom of the leg. And to do this, all we're going to do is knit one and purl one. So now for this first row, we're going to knit the first stitch and purl the next. Knit one, purl one, knit one, and purl one. This is all we're going to do all around. And then we're going to repeat the same thing, which is going to knit one, purl one. We're going to do a one by one ribbing here for the bottom of the leg. And all you do is just knit one, purl one all around for all the rows. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but eventually it's going to look like this here. For this one I did, let's see, I did two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Then on row 25, I think I cast off. So we're going to do about 25 rows. If you don't want yours too long, then just do half, maybe, I don't know, 12 uh, rows and it's going to look like this or this long so I'm going to do it like this so I'm going to do about 24 rows where you knit one and purl one all around so continue watching um, so that you can see how it looks once this part here is done and then I'll show you how to cast off your stitches Okay, I'm almost done with this leg. I have done a total of 24 rows here for the bottom of the leg now we're going to cast off our stitches so to do this we're going to knit the first stitch here of this row then purl the next. Now bring the first stitch over the second. Again, knit the next stitch, bring the first stitch over the second, purl the next, bring the first stitch over the second, knit the next, bring the stitch over, and so on. Continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you how to make the second leg. I finished casting off my stitches. Here's the last stitch. So what you're going to do is just cut your yarn and just pass your yarn through this last loop here. And now with a yarn needle here, we're going to join to the first stitch. So you're going to go here to the first stitch you cast off. Right there. And then go through the last stitch that you cast off like this through the top and down there that's how it looks now we need to hide our end here on this side because when you fold it you don't want to see it so I'm going to bring this loop through the center here I'm going to go right here along this very edge, right there. there just work your way down a couple stitches and now we're going to work our way up again in the same way okay pull this a little bit and now you can cut your yarn right there and this part here is done fold it and here is the finished leg and that's how it looks so now we're going to do the second leg here so to do this we did this side so we're going to go here on this side and I'm going to insert my needle through this tube here and just pull my needle through
I have all my stitches here for the second leg. We have 44 stitches. So now we need to attach the yarn and we can attach the yarn to this stitch right here or to the back. Um, I'm going to do it here. And with a crochet hook here, just grab a loop. Make sure to leave a nice long tail here because we're going to use this to close this gap here between the legs. So just grab this loop through, pull the yarn, and tie a knot here. Here's my long tail so that I can close the gap. And now we're going to begin with the first row. So to begin here, this first row, I need to purl. So I'm going to purl across. So here's the front. So now just purl across until we finish this first row. Here's the last stitch. Now drop that needle, turn to join in the round. We just bring the yarn in front of this needle, pull the needle from the back, and in the next row, row two, we are going to knit. And now we are joined in the round, so all I'm going to do for this second row is just knit all around, and then for the second row, you are going to purl and that's how you're going to continue until you have a total of 13 rows and then on row 14 you are going to make your first decrease and continue with the leg exactly how we did it here so here's the first decrease i knit one and then knit two together and then i knit across to the last three stitches, then knit two together, and then knit the last stitch. At the end of this first decrease, I had 42 stitches, and then I knit another 13 rows, and in row 14, I repeated that same thing. At the end of that row, I had 40 stitches, and then I knit another 13 rows, and in the next row, row 14, I did my third decrease. So at the end of that row, I had 38 stitches. And then after that, make nine more rows, for a total of 51 rows here for the leg, and then we're going to finish with the last rows here for the cuff, which are 24 rows, and then on row 25, we cast off. And that's how you're going to do the second leg, exactly how we did it here. So continue, finish the second leg, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished the second leg. I did it exactly in the same way as I showed you the first one. So the legs are all done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here, right in the center. And I'm going to close this from the, let's see, I'm going to go right here. This is where I had that piece of yarn uh, when we started the second leg. Now there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that it gets closed. So I'm thinking you can do the whip stitch. Uh, but make sure you go on the inside. So to start here, just go stitch by stitch. You can go here into the next, and then here into this side. And just go one stitch at a time. On this side, and then on this side. So on this side, then on this side.
Let's see. I have one last stitch here. And here. There. And just pull this a little bit so those stitches close. And that's it. So now go through the inside here and just hide this end on the inside. Now this part here is done and this is how it looks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach my buttons and then I'll come back and show you the finished baby overalls. I finished attaching my buttons. This is how it looks. I used seven of these buttons and these are the buttons that I used. These are 13 millimeter size and these I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I know you always ask where I purchase my buttons. Most of them come from Hobby Lobby. So those are the buttons that I use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this part here. This is optional. The little overalls are all done so you can leave them like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all around just like I did with this one here. This one was done exactly Exactly in the same way how I showed you with this one here the only difference is that I used uh, four millimeter kneading needles so this here is for three to six months and this one here that we just finished is for zero to three months so to do this we're going to go right here this is the front panel where we did the buttonhole so right into this same front panel with a three millimeter hook insert your hook here at the very end of the front panel and we're going to work this row from the wrong side out so bring a loop through. I'm using this number three DK weight yarn. This is in the color off white. So bring this loop through and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to skip two rows. So we have one, two. In between the next two, right along the very edge, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Chain three. Again, skip two rows, one, two, and right along the edge between the next two rows, a slip stitch. Chain three, skip two rows, and between the next two rows right here along the very edge, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip two rows, and what I mean by rows are these rows here where you see the bump. So skip these two bumps and right in between the next two, rows make a slip stitch and this is how you're going to work this part here all around and that's how it looks so you're going to continue along this front panel all around the neckline and then work your way down so i'll go ahead and finish this part and then i'll come back and show you the finished overalls i finished making this last row all around here at the end all i did was just make my last slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and then all i did was just hide my end so this part here is all done and this is how it looks I love the way that this here makes it pop. I also went around the sleeves here and did the same thing. It's done exactly in the same way. Here's the neckline, here's the other sleeve, and then here are the bottom of the feet. I also went ahead and did it exactly in the same way. So these little overalls are all done. They're absolutely beautiful. They're super cute. This is how it looks here in the back side. Here's the crutch area. That's how it looks and the legs. There it is. Now you're going to need about 154 grams of yarn and I already told you seven of these 13 millimeter size buttons. And now let me give you the finished measurement. From the top of the shoulder here to the end of the leg with this here folded, it's measuring about 47.5 centimeters, which is about 18.5 inches. From the crutch here to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 17 centimeters, which is about 6.75 inches. From the top of the shoulder to the crutch here in the middle, it's measuring about 30.5 centimeters, which is about 12 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 23.5 centimeters, which is about 9.25 inches. So based on these measurements, these little overalls are for baby boys and girls between zero and three months. Now this stitch pattern here is super stretchy. So I think that a baby from one up to four and a half months can wear it uh, with lots of room to spare. It's very stretchy, like I said, and you can certainly make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to two to three years old. Um, in the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. 
This one here is for three to six months and I did it exactly in the same way as I showed you for this one here. This one, the only difference is that I used a four millimeter uh, knitting needle. So you can certainly make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check out the information box below. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. Comment below and let me know if you would like me to make the matching um, coat for this little outfit. I'll see what I can do. So make sure to comment. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.